Oh, it's time. Time to get radical. Your discretion is advised. Welcome to Radical Comment of the Week for June the 2nd through June the 8th. These are the very best comments from that time period. Starting out with the almost honorable mentions, we have Tim Ferrari, Sneaky V, and Frogo776. The honorable mention, the first honorable mention, comes to us from Billy Sosa. This is a great point. I often feel a certain way about my current situation, but when I step back and really think about it, I can't help but realize just how lucky I am. Even though my initial feelings are warranted, it's important to have perspective. Appreciate what you have, but also work towards your goals. I often feel frustration about my job and coworkers, but I am fortunate that I have a job and money coming in this whole time. Sometimes all it takes is that small bit of reflection to feel better about the thing that has you down. To realize that it's not so bad, this is important to keep in the back of your mind at all times. Thank you, Billy. The next honorable mention comes to us from Rusty Shackelford. Glad to hear there's a chance that I have several comments in consideration for Comment of the Week. Maybe one of them might be the Platinum? I kid, I kid. While I haven't been in the comment section, I just want you to know, Rick, that I still come by to listen. Whether it's on the road or playing video games or sending out emails. I try to pop in and listen to the videos. Not going to be able to comment as much as I want to, but I'll be listening. I'll try to comment when I can, but I'm also branching out trying new things like reading a book, learning Japanese through Rosetta Stone, etc. Having a full-time job has really changed my life. With the little time of freedom I have, I try to make every second count by engaging in new hobbies and spending time with those close to me. So it's hard and sad for me to say uh, that I have to put my comments at the bottom of the list, but I'll still be listening and whenever I have a few um, minutes to spare, I'll definitely make time to comment. Thank you, Rusty. The next honorable mention comes to us from Jonathan Bowers. I used to subscribe to beat em ups to get reviews on Switch games and see if there was anything that looked cool in the eShop. Then I started getting the notifications for the videos of him receiving gifts from fans. I watched a lot of them and I was fine with them at first, but they started to give me a horrible feeling. I felt so bad for the people who were continually sending him things, expensive things. I didn't really get it at first, but then it made me feel sick to my stomach. He was dropping hints and stuff. Don't spend money on people like that. Spend your money on yourself or your loved ones. If you have extra money, put it towards a good cause or save it. Don't get wrapped up in having your name mentioned in a video by someone who really doesn't care about you. If you work, you know how hard it is to treat yourself to something nice. This kind of stuff needs to stop. People are being taken advantage of. Thank you, Jonathan Bowers. Moving right along into the medal ceremony, we have the bronze medal going to Archeonis. I hope I pronounced that right. I don't know if this guy has depression for real, talk about uh, beat-em-ups, or if he fakes it in order to fulfill his means, but I'm 100% sure that he has narcissistic personality disorder. It's pretty obvious in the video he posted his whole narrative, the facial slash extolingual? That's a, that's a word right there. I'll have to look that one up later. I, I honestly... I need to look that one up, okay? I, I don't know off the top of my head what that means. Expression using and the motives hiding in the stream of his thoughts. To be clear, the majority of the video game slash tech enthusiast influencers show many of these patterns. The common sense is that they are promoting products for money, but during this process they tend to promote their egos. Companies for sure know this, in fact they exploit this tendency. This is like a symbiotic organism. They use them and after a while they get rid of them. So the problem for these influencers is that there is always a bigger beast in the scenery rather than them. And in this pyramid-shaped scheme of manipulation, they are beneath their master. That is why Wood uses Patreon, e-begging, or receive gifts from kids. He mimics this manipulative dynamic, but he's still out of his league compared to a company that makes millions. It's fascinating. So you equate it to kind of like a pyramid. Top of the pyramid would be Nintendo. And then they use people like Wood Hawker to their benefit. And then Wood Hawker uses people like, well, little kids to send him gifts for his benefit. It is a pyramid of manipulation, right? Uh, you can argue, well, I learned it from watching you, Nintendo. I learned it from watching you. Guess what happens when the manipulator, when the master is done? Guess what happens? They toss you aside. 
they toss you aside because really, it was never about you, okay? In regards to Nintendo using people like Woodhawker, and Woodhawker using people like his donators, it's never about you, it's about what you can do to build me up, to build me up, you see? So it, it goes right down and he seemed genuinely hurt. I think he was genuinely hurt at the thought that Nintendo would actually throw him away. In the same way, and I hate to be the breaker of bad news to a lot of the audience of Woodhawker, in the same way, he would easily throw away many of his supporters, literal supporters, people that give him money. You know, he would throw you away in a heartbeat if it meant for a second he could maybe jump up that social ladder. So when people look at Woodhawker, they look at a fake person, but they look at, more importantly than anything else, they look at a user, they look at a manip manipulator, they look at somebody who really probably thinks he has a shot at being the next PewDiePie and will step over whoever he needs to to get to that point, right? Uh, thank you, Archeonis. The silver medal comes to us from Art Bell. My late take, show lives matter. He rarely looks into the eye of the camera. Talk about beat em ups. Uh, beat em ups channel was about PlayStation early on, not Nintendo. He just lied, or is it delusion? Common in YouTube video makers. Heartbroken, honest account is that he was ditched. Plus, how he was the only one ditched. Ouch. Further evidence that energy drink pushing on kids cost him. My first guess. Such a feminine approach. Nintendo wants to use him for his. Thor bod, but no wedding ring. Won't get taken home to mom plus pops. He is a dirty girl, it seems. And later he says as much. Not you, it's me. Laugh out loud. About five videos out there on this tossing of wood. What hurts is that maybe YouTube gave his channel a noticed boost from being partnered up with Nintendo. Modding videos teach and brag owners to get around those pesky obligation to buy games. Modding from a partner. 99% chance this had him ditched. Sidestep the store. They don't get paid. The whole service fails. They need to make more than 100 bucks on the one-time hardware sale. Bigger the partner, bigger the betrayal. It would take a week maybe to reach the ex-execs at Nintendo, one of whom says... Unload this pirate. He slumps in the chair a bit midway into half an hour. Credit to him for admitting that it does matter a lot. That association, that association uh, was big for him. Oh, was beg for him. Big, I meant. Uh, clever plan words there. It boosted him in ways. It was more than codes as he hinted. It was the approval. Chips ahoy. Cookie, get that partnership taken away. Brand of approval. All that is left is a scarlet letter. I am surprised that he even whispered this bad news. Like a celeb breakup, the lesser name wants to keep the hubby's last name. Klingy, reject here. Why? What did I do wrong? I am willing to shave, plus bathe. He must be trying to get 900,000 sub army to press Nintendo for reconsideration. This is peak cope beat-em-ups. He is angry, too. It scared him. Fear has a process. With fear, you first get scared, then you get angry from being made to feel scared. Perhaps having a made-up name doesn't help him, either. Grown man with 900,000 subs is in hiding. In ways, makes me wonder about his numbers, too. Social Blade maybe tells a story. Fewer views. Did he buy Twitter followers? Energy drink peddling. The charity money, maybe 33% of it, uh, was kept by him under an agreement, but Nintendo saw something dirty about it. Other people's money also gets him a tax write-off. But what is his status? Does he have PR? Does he file taxes? And what is his real name in the first place? Even, too many red flags. What if it was a dozen screw-ups? Could have been a lot of different things. I mean, most people will point, obviously, to the Mon video, right? But it could be a variety of different things. Maybe Nintendo really sniffed some other kind of stuff. Maybe there were some other things there, right? Um, it's never a good look. Never a good look, just in general. Uh, when you have a lot of people that are critical of an ambassador to Nintendo, okay? Now, I don't believe Nintendo as much cares about the fact that he's getting lots of gifts, especially from, you know, uh, 
the target audience for Nintendo, ironically. I don't think that really played a big factor, okay? I think it was mainly the fact that, you know, Nintendo is very choosy on who they choose to be brand ambassadors, okay? Uh, I don't really see... And, and he said... I could tell, like I said, he was hurt. It seemed like he was shocked. And that is what shocked me, okay? It shocks me that he was actually shocked that Nin Nintendo didn't care for him deeply as much as he thought. And, you know, he even, like, he even equated it to a breakup. And I'm like, I'm looking around like, does everybody see this shit? Like, this is the biggest cry for help I've ever seen. You know, most people, like, and you equated it to Hollywood couples. When Hollywood couples break up, you know, let's say, uh, you know, guy like a guy like a Brad Pitt, you know, drops a girl he's with, you know, because he wants to move on or, you know, for whatever reason. You know, if she's, if she's heard about it, you know, usually they don't post all that stuff out there. Or uh, what happens is sometimes they try to get even. Maybe he actually thought that, you know... Hey, I have an army of 900,000 people. He thought, well, if 900,000 people like try to contact Nintendo, then that'll show them. No, no, it won't. Thank you, Art Bell. The shiny, shiny gold medal today comes to us from Altered Penguin. Beat 'em ups is the least of the problem. Review Tech USA video on Wood Situation. He is complaining about Nintendo and somehow attributes it to the problem with YouTube. He berates a multinational conglomerate for their lack of integrity while he ebags. It's actually sickening to see this hypocrisy. I will not sugarcoat this. I do not like Rich at all. I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. I cannot stand hypocrites. Trust me, I do believe we as humans have moments of hypocrisy in our lives, but the people I respect are the ones who realize it or when called out make effective change. Rich is an entitled idiot who reads articles and regurgitates them out as his own thoughts and ideas. No fact-checking whatsoever. Also, he doesn't understand he is part of the problem while complaining about the same or similar problematic influencers online. You have to watch this video. He basically calls people out for shilling for corporate sponsorships. He calls out Nintendo for hypocrisy. Now, Nintendo can be an infuriating company from time to time, yet they are pretty clear. They stay away from controversial topics as much as possible. They do not condone emulations or modding. And they are rigid when it comes to business. Wood modded a game or showed a modification. Common sense would tell you Nintendo will not like this. He is dropped from the ambassador program. And that is that, is that it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Rich, on the other hand, thinks this is the problem and makes a reference to the way certain YouTubers, uh, certain YouTubers and the problem of having relationships is wrong with big companies. That's not the truth in reviewing. Like this is an egregious crime. While acting as if his sponsorship is different because he doesn't bend the knee to the corporate overlords by giving fake enthusiastic reviews. He acts as if he is a pillar of integrity while begging for money over the internet. You already covered this in, uh, in another video he made where he critiqued that Twitch streamer who berated her followers for being broke and not donating to her. His excuse for accepting donations is that he doesn't expect it and he always says thank you. He is different because he shows gratitude for handouts. So basically there are levels to shilling and he begging? Shill, but don't shill too much. Beg, but don't get nasty and snippy with your benefactors. Rich is nothing more than ranting OnlyFans provide a ranting OnlyFans provider. Yes, sick image. I don't want to see those pepperoni nipples. This made me think about your precious video. Uh, videos Rich complains a lot, and I guess I can't stand complainers, especially grown men. Grown men with kids wanting online over a choice they made. I used to sell cars. This is not a stable profession. When Instacart and Shipped arrived, I started to drive for them and make ends meet. My point is Rich is an entitled clown who has no reason to complain about Nintendo, YouTube, or any other person. Go get a job or build your brand. I'm all for making YouTube a career, but you need to plan like all the people do when they run their own business. 
Invest. Try to collaborate with others. Try to make a product that will sell like AVGN and his DVDs. Even MGR has, or at least he says, an Amazon deal. Make it a personal business and stop treating it like an employer. YouTube is a platform, not a business, with a 401k, stock options, and sick time. I'm sorry for the rant, I just cannot stand people who complain when there are no obstacles in their way. So, Review Tech USA, and I, I don't know if I saw that video, and I don't really have the time to check that out, so my apologies right now. But you said he made a video on the situation, and he he tried to basically say that there should not be special partnerships, there should not be shilling, and it's kind of funny because every time you go to Rich's channel, he's got he's shilling for something. But I guess because he doesn't shill that hard for it, or he's not an official ambassador, then it's okay. And he talked about how, like, and it was hilarious to me, the biggest lack of self-awareness. You know, I'm surprised he wasn't just grinning to himself, like when he actually did that uh, one on Bad Money. Was it Bad Money? Was that the streamer that was actually, uh, you know, telling people that they can't afford, you know, I forget what it was, you know, a lot of these e-beggars kind of, like, run together. But months back, it was that she got online and she was berating people that didn't donate to her. I looked at it like, okay, you have to not be an e-beggar to speak out on someone like that. I can speak out on someone like that because I don't fucking take donations. Review Tech USA gladly takes donations. But I guess since he smiles and nods, <laughs> thank you, thank you very much for the donation. Oh, I love you. You know, or does funny voices, or I don't know. I haven't been in one of his live streams. Does he rub his nipples or do some stuff to get, you know, I, I'm not sure. I know once he took his shirt off, right? Uh, somebody, what was it, $100, $200, something like that, you know? You know, somebody gave him money and then he took his shirt off. But, but hey, it's okay. I guess he's a male, though. I guess it's fine. So, it's hilarious when I see one e-beggar try to call out other e-beggars for their e-begging. You know, it never stops. I always see it. So don't let me see that shit. Don't let me see you, any of you, with a fucking Patreon trying to call out e-begging. That shit don't work. Okay? Right here, though, I can do it consistently because I don't fucking e-beg. Thank you, everybody. Thank you all to Penguin. Have a great day.